Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is Friday, I had a great week of work, and when I came home today, I had this waiting for me at my doorstep. This is the Bitsy Virtual Pet by Spin Master, and it's being advertised as the first digital pet that you can touch. The Bitsy was announced in May, and I've seen a lot of pre-orders for it. I've heard of a lot of people, specifically in the UK, already being able to find this in stores. But I'm a little confused about it because I believe the specific release date is toward the end of the summer for it. I purchased mine from Walmart through a third-party seller called ToyWiz. ToyWiz does have their own website, but I felt more comfortable purchasing it through Walmart. I paid $44.99 for the Bitsy itself and then another $7.99 for shipping. I paid over $50 and the MSRP for this is only $29.99 so I did pay significantly more than that but I really wanted to get my hands on one so I could unbox it and share it with you all today. I'll admit that down the road, I'm worried I will feel a little embarrassed for paying so much extra for this. That happens from time to time when I rush to try to get something to share on my channel. So I'm certainly not recommending that you all rush out and get it unless we find that we really like it. Uh, but I do think that this will be easy to find at its suggested retail price in the future. So it's been about an hour since I filmed and I am now editing. I just checked online. Both Amazon and Target.com have pre-orders open $29.99 with a release date of July 1st. Learn from my mistakes. But even though I did have to pay more than I wanted, I'm very excited to actually have it in my hands to unbox and share with you all today. But before we get started, I want to touch base about two warnings that this has on the box. I think these warnings are very important for anyone that's considering buying this, but also as you consider watching this video. So the big one up front. This toy produces flashes that may trigger epilepsy in sensitized individuals. To reduce exposure to such potential, play in a well-lit room and do not flash lights directly into eyes. I've seen some videos of this pet shared on social media, and through the video, this pet does flash quite a bit. So if this warning applies to you, please go ahead and click off my video or just listen to it just to stay as safe as possible. And then the second warning on here is this toy contains inaccessible magnets. Exposed magnets, if inhaled or swallowed, can stick together or to other metal objects and can cause serious or fatal injury. Keep away from electronic and medical devices. I'm not 100% sure what all that wording means, but if you think that applies to you, please consider it before purchasing this pet. Let's go ahead, flip my camera around, and get this Bitsy opened up. Here is the Bitsy up close. So it includes the three needed AA batteries, as well as a quick start guide and instruction sheet. So here it advertises unlock 15 pets in each pod, as well as the first digital pet you can touch. It has this little try me. I haven't tried it yet. Like I said, I just got out of work and I found this on my porch, delivered a couple days early. So let's go ahead. Ooh. Oh wow, so that's pretty unique. So the flickering, from what I can tell on my camera screen, the flickering looks to be about the same in person. Additionally, it's like, it's like vibrating. I think you can hear, you can hear that motor. I'm feeling that vibrate through the box, which is very interesting. It's kind of surprising, um, and it's not really my favorite sound either. It says to open at the bottom. So let's see what we can do here. And it has some numbered instructions. So cut here. I did accidentally cut these. I'm not sure <laughs> if that was bad or not. But then two, uh, three, four, five, and six. Let's see here. Cut this off. And additionally, this purple color is showing up differently on my camera. 
I have problems with that from time to time with my camera picking up the purple color. So just know that this does look a little bit different in person uh, than what you may be seeing on the video. Here is our pod. From what I'm gathering, it feels like the magnetic function is part of how it closes. That or it's spring-loaded. Not sure just yet, but you can see the fun pets on screen. And another cautionary warning on the back. Very warm, flexible display. Let's see if so you can kind of see it there. That filament piece is actually vibrating up and down to produce the image. I was thinking it was going to be like some kind of weird hologram type thing, but really it just looks like LED lights that are flashing up and down. So to exit, try me. Swipe once from left to right. Maybe we turned off. All right, so it says your Bitsy is here to meet you. All right, and it says do not grab or pull the flexible display. Only touch the display gently from above. Okay. Uh, am I doing it right? Oh, that's kind of weird. So the quick start guide is giving you directions. Oh, well, let's see. And once you've mastered the movement, it will give you a, a green check mark. So swipe to feed and then press down to navigate. So that was the feed command. And it looks like we got a heart. So you can see right now, it's almost like the, the image is rolling down. It does not look like that in person. The image is flashing in person, but it's not rolling down like that. Okay, so this clicking noise, oh, it stopped. Um, the clicking noise is really not my favorite. I think I'll get used to it. I'm also a little concerned of how it will sound as I edit this video. As when I speak, I don't always say a full sentence in one take. Sometimes I slice a couple takes together. So I apologize for whatever this may look like. I think navigating this might take me a little bit of time to learn, but that's okay. All virtual pets kind of have that learning curve. I'll admit that right now I'm going to close this. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm feeling a little apprehensive about this pet, but I'm going to give it a fair shot. So I am going to end the video here and I'm going to keep playing with it and I'm going to get my bitsies and see what all I can do. I have read some other people, some other collectors reviews online and a lot of them have said that this takes not much time at all to complete and collect all the bitsy. So I'm gonna give it my best shot and see what I can collect. I have a busy day tomorrow celebrating Father's Day this weekend and I will certainly bring this along with me so I can get the full virtual pet experience with it. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing so you don't miss my review and future videos about this. And let me know any questions in the comments below that you would like to have answered in those videos. You can also find me on Instagram at lovepandabunny, and the link to my Discord is in the description box below. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope everyone has a fantastic weekend, and I will see you in my next Bitsy video.